Welcome to Channel That Resolves, where we play a different deck list every video. I'm Country Fried, and this is One Shot of Country. New episode, new segment, whatever you want to call it. And that's if Kevin puts it out and you guys get to see it, then we know he's uh, he's on board with it. If not, uh, I'm recording it for nothing. World's smallest violin. Come on, dude. Like this. All right, we're getting a lot of deck lists uploaded uh, and suggested to us in DMs and the deck building and Discord and stuff like that. And we love it, and we want to play them all, but there's not a whole lot of time. Watch all of this because if you comment below and it was answered in the deck list intro or the outro, I'm going to go back and tell you to watch the video. But uh, yeah, one shot of country. Give us a standard list. Try and make it rotation proof. If you give us historic, explorer, alchemy, or brawl, just tell me what cards are okay to rotate out and what cards you absolutely don't want me to touch. Uh, because I'm going to put a country shot on it or a country twist on it. And that's why it's one shot of country. Now I'm going to take it into one game, no play testing. And then if I win, it's undefeated. I don't care what you put in the comments. It's undefeated. And then if I don't, I'll take your original list in. I'll link both of the deck lists down below. I'll give you full credit. This week, we've got uh, T's Grixis list, man. Or at least this video. I don't know if this is going to be weekly or just like daily or every other day or what. But T is addicted to Grixis. He likes the reanimator styles. He likes bombardments. He just likes Grixis in general, the blue, black, red. So nothing wrong with that. T, much love, brother. I truly appreciate it. Longtime supporter of my old channel. And then when we moved over and the live stream, and he's always hanging out. We're always talking in Discord, DMing, Deckless. He's a deck, he's a brewer, and uh, he's got an obsession with Arcane Bombardment like I do with Scoot Swarm. So with that, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the first episode. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, like I said, if it wins, I don't care if, spoiler alert, my opponent gets stuck on four lands, they're playing reanimator, it's just really bad for them, and we just wipe them out, and I do a bunch of misplays and miss lethal. Uh, I'm not saying that that's something that I would probably do, but it sounds like something I might do. So, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy it. There's the long intro, man. Episode one. I hope you guys enjoy it. So, one shot of country, coming up. Right, guys so just to explain real quick this is a community member submitted deck list and you guys can do that but what i'm going to do is going forward especially with rotation coming up i'm only going to play the deck list once but it's going to have a country twist on it so i'm going to take your deck list i'm going to put my twist on it and if i win it's undefeated because a win's a win so i'm not even going to play test it i'm just going to go in and try and play it and then if i lose with my deck list what i'll do is i'll play another game with your original deck list and then if it wins or loses you get to see it but uh, that's it, guys. It's a one shot of country right here. You may end up with a second shot, but that's going to be your deck list. And that's the whole thing about this little segment that I'm doing with this, this one shot of country. So this is T. Stokes' original deck list. I didn't change it up a whole lot. And when I looked at it, man, you guys can screenshot it. I'll link his original deck list down below as well as the one that I put my twist on it, which wasn't very big, guys. I didn't change this up that much because when I looked at this, I was just like, man, it looks like chaos in a bucket here. I mean, there's all kinds of different things going on, but uh, it's super powerful, way super powerful. And I misplayed the hell out of it. So let me go ahead and take you guys over to my deck list. All right, guys. So here's the thing. If you're going to submit the deck list, if it's standard, make it rotation proof. And this is rotation proof. That's the only thing I've got about it. So if you're doing a historic or an explorer or a brawl format, anything like that, or alchemy, then we're not too worried about it. But make sure it's rotation proof. That's all I'm asking, especially this close coming up to the rotation. And then after rotation, we don't have to worry for a while. So Going into this, the only change I made was I took out one make disappear and I put in an arcane bombardment. Well, why did you do that? Well, because, man, if you guys know T. Stokes like I do, <laughs> he has an obsession with arcane bombardment. Every time, I, when he brought this on the live stream, I actually called it as an arcane bombardment deck list while we were playing. And then when he got back into chat, he was like, nope, I actually didn't play arcane bombardment. So he's got a little bit of an addiction to this, but I wanted to play it, put it in here just in case. Now, you guys are going to see the gameplay. It doesn't land. We never get to Arcane Bombardment. We don't have to. And when I said this looked like a bucket of chaos, what I meant is there's a lot of scattered things going on here, but there's a lot of answers for a lot of stuff. So we got the counter spells. We got some board state removal and clean up, you know, to kind of help us pace out the game. And then, of course, we got card draw and a little bit of mana ramp, which is why I left Fable the Mirror Breaker right here, because it can create the, the tokens and then you can discard two, draw two, that kind of stuff. And then, of course, Celestis and Big Score. And then with 
uh, tainted indulgence and witness the future, letting you put stuff uh, in your hand, and then, of course, shuffling stuff in from your graveyard. Uh, I actually love witness the future. It's a great card. Uh, and then we got Burn Down the House and Invoke Despair. Two cards that I'm a big fan of. And I know T. Stokes loves Invoke Despair, like just about like Bombardment. But he's become a really big fan of Burn Down the House as we've been going along and the more I see him in live streams. Um, look, it's Board Sweeper, man. It hits creatures and it hits Planeswalkers. So it's, it's, it's like... I don't know, it's just mass removal for what the board state could be, but you can also drop these 311 devil tokens on the board and they become a pain in the ass because they got haste. They start going in for the three damage. You can meat hook them, which you'll see me misplay that because I did. I missed lethal, but I'm going to leave it, man, because I told you it's one shot of country. You guys are going to see the game for what it is, and I misplay a lot, especially when I'm not really paying attention and I'm just having fun and stuff. Uh, I'll, I'll dirtle a game just to just to keep going to have more fun, so I'll, I'll see where it can go, man, and then I'll get mad if I lose it. But uh, we got Arcane Bombardment, so if it did land, we can reutilize all of these. We've got Wandering Mine, which you get to see once in the game, um, which can look at the top six cards of your library, and you can reveal a non-creature, non-land card from among them. So you can usually find answers for whatever your uh, game state is to help you out, help you clean up the board, or help you get ready to counter if you need to. And then, of course, the One Hall Breaker Horror. What's amazing about this game, man, is you're not going to see anything stick except these two. And they wipe out this game. I don't know if the person got stuck on land. You can call it, well, you say it's undefeated, but it's one game. But yeah, man, a W is a W, and that's the way this segment's going to go. I'm going to play one game. If it's undefeated, it's undefeated. I don't care, man. It's one shot of country. You get that one shot, and if I win, it's undefeated. And then if I don't, I play your original deck list to see if it goes any better. What deck I match up against, what opponent I match up against, that take it up with Arena and Wizards of the Coast. It's not my fault. So I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. It was a really quick game. It was some really inter uh, interesting interactions with this deck list um, as far as what answers you could do. I mean, you'll see all kinds of things come in and out of my hand, but we didn't have to use a whole lot of it. And it really kind of, when I first saw it, I'm going to be honest, I thought, man, where does this go? It goes to a W. That's what it goes to. So, T. Stokes, thank you for uh, sharing this, man. I know your love of Grixis is like no other. The only other thing I changed up is I took one of each basics out, and I put in three Field of Ruins just because I, I'm i always preparing for Creature Lands because even though we're doing Rotation Proof and Standard, some people will still be playing with uh, Creature Lands, and uh, I feel more comfortable with the Field of Ruins until Rotation, and uh, those are gone, and hopefully we don't get any more for a while so we can just play the game and not have to sit there and... Uh, you know, playing for creature lands to come out of nowhere and win the game against us. But yeah, man, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I'll probably take it out again off the video, but here you are, man. Episode one of One Shot of Country. T. Stokes. I appreciate the support, brother. I hope you enjoy it. We'll see you guys at the end of the video. Peace. All right, we go first. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't hate it. We'll give it a shot. All right, T, I hope your deck does well, man. Let's give it a showing or try to. <laughs> All right. Hmm, <laughs> do they got counters? Man, I'd rather encounter this than the Celestis, but I'd like to ramp up into that Celestis. Okay. No counters. What is going on? They got, like, Infernal Grasp? Are you going to Infernal... Okay. March. Sure. Sure. They can get blue. Not my problem. Oh, they're a field of runes holding it up. That's fine. Uh, 
uh, we'll decline. Oh my gosh. We have all the things. <laughs> we have all the things. T. This deck's amazing, bro. Fun. I don't know what our matchup is, but it's fun. Did they just get held up on... I mean, they gotta be missing blue, right? That's just... That's it? That's gotta be what it is. Why aren't they popping the field? Oh my god. <laughs> ah, discard a card. Uh, sure. So are they just a reanimator deck? The Field of Ruins is holding it again. I would imagine they got Fading Hope or something. Oh, okay. Sure. They're never going to survive this. This is so fun. You're dead. You're so dead. We could have just done it for one. Why did I not just do it for one? Man, if I ain't misplaying, I ain't playing right. <laughs> All right, bro. Hey, T, I'm sorry that's the way I showcased your deck, man. I had death on board, dude. Oh, my God, man. Look, I was just having fun. Man, look, I'm going to keep playing it, bro. Uh, we'll see how it goes, man. But that may be the one game right there. I mean, it was the first game, man. It went undefeated, <laughs> right, Kevin? <laughs> All right, GG's. Check out this month's Patreon rewards celebrating our return to Dominaria. If you want to pick these up, feel free to visit our Patreon at patreon.com slash it resolves. All right, guys, there you go. Make fun, man. I miss lethal. I missed all kinds of stuff. I did. I watched the video back myself. Um, there was a couple things that I could have done differently in that that would have made it a whole lot smoother, made me look a whole lot better. But I'm going to show you guys what I got. And it's going to be just an unedited one game, one shot of country. That's what the episode is. That's what the segment is, whatever you want to call it. You guys can submit decks, but like I said, if it's standard, try and keep it rotation proof. And I'm going to do this one shot video. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh, I do want to play your guys' deck list, but I'm getting so many submitted to me in DMs and on the deck list. And I know Kevin is too, and we're going to try and get through them. But we got limited time before rotation gets here. And when rotation gets here, guys, we're going back to standard and we're going to hit up the new set like crazy. So with that, keep that in mind. Keep it rotation proof if it's standard, but submit historic, explore, alchemy, or brawl. But keep in mind, make it competitive because you get one shot. One shot. I'll put my twist on it if you got some cards that you want me to utilize if i'm going to take something out and change it up let me know but if you don't have any input on it i'm going to change up whatever i want and then like i said if i win it's game over and i won but if i lose i'll play your original deck list and see how we do there as well and then i'll comment on both but t it was a great deck list, bro. I had a lot of fun with it, man. It's super powerful, super fast, man. I know our opponent got hung up on lands or something. I don't know what the hell they were trying to do. I'm guessing that they were a reanimator deck list, and this deck was just way too fast for them. So with that, guys, stay safe. Be happy and healthy. Peace. Thank you guys for all your support. Truly love you. I'm Country Fry for Channel That Resolves. Have a great day.